Welcome to SeaTac Recap, bringing you the latest news in the travel world. Star news anchor Chip Chandler. Welcome to SeaTac Recap. I'm your host, the famous Chip Chandler. And I'm Susan Walker. Today we're going to bring you the news from all over in a new different way. Let's get started. What do you have for us today, Susan? For our first topic, three destinations you can visit for under $25 a day. Believe it or not, there are still plenty of global destinations where you can get by on $25 a day or less. Phan Phen, Cambodia. The cheapest daily food cost is $10. As a country, Cambodia is shockingly cheap, even by Southeast Asia standards. We're talking cheap, cheap. Luckily, the country once synonymous with the killing fields under the 1970s Khmer Rouge regime is now quite safe. Well, safe enough and fascinating as well. The capital city is a scenery assault, stunning agriculture, including the royal palace, bustling markets, and speeding vehicles aplenty. Panama City, Panama. Central America attracts a lot of budget travelers, most of whom cluster around the beaches of Costa Rica. But far cheaper and less explored spots abound. Here you get city and beach, history and modernity, and you get it all for a low, low price. Yes, there's a Miami, Dubai feel about the city center. Kampala, Uganda. Kampala is a passed over African capital for one obvious reason. The hilly city abutting Lake Victoria continues to come into its own, especially culturally. New clubs, theaters, and restaurants keep cropping up. Although when it comes to eating, you want to investigate the mysterious entity known as the pork joint. Once you've gotten your bearings, Camp Bella also serves a, as strong as jumping off point to other adventures. And now word from our sponsor. Hey everybody, you've been working hard all year long. 2016 is almost at a midpoint already. For all you do, this club's for you. Come let SeaTac show you how to vacation bigger, better, more often for less money. All service agents are standing by. It takes about 15 minutes to learn how to vacation the way you really want to for the rest of your life. Stay in five-star rated resorts for prices as low as $50 a night. Thank you. God bless. Welcome back. Vanishing UFOs spotted over Ontario. UFOs are reported across the globe on a daily basis, and it's often the same thing. A circular object shines brilliantly in the sky, and then instantly it disappears. Of course, if an advanced civilization in a far galaxy had the technology to cross the far reaches of space, it might assume the pilots of these spacecrafts could also have a cloaking device or hyperspace afterburners, like you might see on your favorite science fiction movie. A sighting last month in Ontario, Canada posted to YouTube, the eyewitness known for his V for Victor, YouTube channel claims that he saw through his bedroom window three bright objects in the sky hovering beside each other in a strange formation. V for Victor decided to videotape the objects after they began to blink randomly, disappear and reappear in the same spot. For our next topic, three of the strangest places on earth. Number one, Area 51. Among the several strange stops on our tour is Area 51, but is it actually strange at all? This military base location is about 80 miles northwest of Las Vegas. It's claimed to fame is that it's supposedly the top secret site where alien bodies and technology were taken from a UFO crash landing in Roswell, New Mexico in 1947. While it's true the military base is secretive, many of the conspiracy claims surrounding Area 51 have been thoroughly debunked. Number two, the Bermuda Triangle. What secrets lurk in the Triangle Ocean between Florida's southern tip, Bermuda, and San Juan, Puerto Rico? The Bermuda Triangle is said to gobble up ships and airplanes without a trace. Slight problem with the legend. Most of the mysterious disappearances cited by believers weren't mysterious at all, but occurred during storms or didn't even sink within the Triangle's borders. And number three, the lost city of Atlantis. Can it be one of the weirdest places on earth if no one knows where it is and it's actually just a legend? Let's go with yes. After all, many people are convinced that there really was a peaceful utopia that sunk beneath the sea in time and memorial, and they tried to pinpoint it in spots all over the world. Even Google Earth once fed the legend with a data glitch that created a grid-like pattern on the ocean's floor. Keen-eyed observers speculated that it might be the lost streets of Atlantis. 
Well, that's all for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of C-Tech Recap. Join us in next week. And remember, stay, stay classy, C-Tech families. families.